Welcome back to E-Magazine, you're right on time for Gallery Watch. And I'm telling you guys, I have a special guest in studio with me, the one and only Nedi Parezo. I'm hoping I said it right, Saki Beef now, anyway. He is a dance creator as well as an influencer and he's here to talk about everything to do with his dance career, TikTok, and we're going to learn a bit more about that. Thank you for joining me on E-Magazine today. Anytime, anytime. How are you doing? I'm good. Are you yourself? excited? Uh, very excited. You better be. Una uh, choice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good myself. Now, Nedi, I want to get to know more about you. Um, yeah. You know, you're an amazing TikTok dancer here in Kenya. I wanted to know when you started this journey as a <coughs> dancer to begin with, and then we can get into the rest later on. Um, I started, I must assume age, I started <laughs> dancing um, in 2011. Uh -huh. So it's been 10 years, it's been 10 years. Hey, that's a long time. Yeah, that's so a decade yeah, it's right it's there. A very, it's a very long time. Um, I've been in the, I've been in the, I've been in this game for more than ten years. I almost you in a kwanga but I've been, I've been in this game for exactly I think ten years. Uh -huh. Um, journey mm poa, -hmm. It's been good. It's been that is the highs, it's lows, but it's been a very Definitely. good journey. Definitely, like any other, you know, journey in general. So when did you decide to make it a business and a career? I think after like five or six years, because mm -hmm. I used to do it just for fun. Um, I used to do it while I was in campus, mm -hmm. um, as a pastime. But once I started seeing that I could earn from from my talent, mm -hmm. because I there's potential here. Mm -hmm. So uh, after after graduating from campus, I just decided to dance full time. That's amazing. Now before we start talking about uh, you know you um, venturing into TikTok and making all these TikTok challenges that you have, I want to know about your very very first gig as a dancer and how that went down. The first gig you're getting paid. See, Oh, not oh. those pro bono <laughs> ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, the first, uh, the first major gig uh, um, we got as dancers, we did with telecom, 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 mm -hmm. uh, not telecom, techno oh, communication. Techno. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. They were doing a, a launch for a new phone, mm -hmm. and we were the guys who were supposed to go and entertain guys and dance. You know, when you do home shopping, you have to pay We scored really, really good. Uh -huh, that's uh, amazing. Like that's, and then that's when we really saw the potential that dance has, mm -hmm. especially in the Kenyan market. Wonderful. Now, when did you get into TikTok? When it first came into the Kenyan space, Ama, you've just been on TikTok for a while, Jay. It's just recently mm. or later on that like, you last made year, it like a thing. Last year, August. Oh, wow. Yeah, last year, August. And when did you decide to get on the TikTok vibe? Uh, COVID. <laughs> I was bored. <laughs> I was bored. Everybody, everybody was at home. I was bored. Everybody was making TikToks. Like when you go to Kingia Kwa Status Yamtu, that's the first thing you will see. Mm -hmm. A TikTok video of somebody Very dancing true. somewhere. And then... I used to have that notion that most guys have that TikTok, my boy, my boy, as much of me not for you can get TikTok. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's a very bad notion. Uh, yeah. yeah. If you have a talent, na kona kitu enyo nataka kupasu, ikwe art, ikwe anything, food, music, traveling, just post your stuff on TikTok. Mm -hmm. It Wonderful. might blow up. Okay. Yeah. Tell me about the TikTok challenges you've come up with so far yeah. and the ones that have been the most successful that people have um, reacted to so well and, you know, joined on the trend. Um, I, I think the first one I did was um, Hapotu by Nyash. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, I, 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 it just blew. I, I, I think I had like 2,000 followers when wow. I did it. And after that... Um, In how many hours? How many minutes? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I had 2,000 followers from August to uh -huh. like November. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Like I was not it. growing at all. Mm -hmm. I was growing very slowly. But uh, since I did that challenge, I went from 2K to like 20K. That's amazing. In a span of like a month. And then it's just been going up, up. Uh -huh. And how did you even come up with this dance style? It's not taking how long? Because some of us, when we do these TikTok challenges, like in you know, struggles. <laughs> If you've been dancing for long, um, you know what people react to. You know, you know where, what you can do so that you can make someone smile. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think um, I try and dance and tap into emotions more than just trying to dance and look good for myself. Mm -hmm. Uh, if I tap into your emotion, if you watch my video and you smile, you'll want to do it as well. It's true. So yeah. that's, that's what I do. And um, Nadi, tell me, as a professional dancer for the years you've been a, you know, a dancer, do you feel like TikTok is you know, the thing that's really helping Kenya dancers TikTok brand is the themselves thing. out there? I'm sorry for cutting you off. TikTok, <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm, TikTok, I'm getting that energy. <laughs> TikTok is the thing. Yeah. I've, been, I've been on platforms, Zote, YouTube. Um, YouTube is good. Um, I've been on Instagram. I've been on Facebook. I've been on... Twitter, I've been on Tinder. Hey, <laughs> Jokes aside, I've been, <laughs> yeah, I've been everywhere. I've been on almost all platforms, but TikTok is the one that's really, really, and yeah, mm -hmm. I can say that's opening up uh, in terms of business and corporates approaching mm -hmm. us dancers in terms of marketing and all that. Yeah. Um, Instagram, we can influence us. Wow. 
Like Definitely. If, if a brand wants to promote something on Instagram, they know who they will approach already. Mm -hmm. But TikTok bado, your niche, no one, no one knows who can Very do true, this yeah. and this. But say when you're trying to establish, mm -hmm. if you want, if an artist has a song and you want to promote it, nani nani dole mtoa dance challenges. Mm -hmm. Nule mse. Nule <laughs> Kuna watu wa comedy, kuna watu wa fashion, kuna watu wa makeup, kuna mm -hmm. watu all round. As mm -hmm. in TikTok mm -hmm. is the place. And also, do you feel like it also positions you in a place where you can get individuals globally, not just in Kenya, interested in your work? Mm, yeah, yeah. But I, I like I like doing more of local content because mm -hmm. if 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 the local people accept you, it's relatable yeah, as well yeah, for if, us. Yeah, if 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 the local. Um, audience accepts you, mm -hmm. the international market will also Definitely. I get excited when I go on TikTok and I'm seeing some dances for Kenyan songs. I'm yeah. going to Spanish songs to the Sudutu Nafanya to do this, pass it. So it's nice being able to dance to Kenyan songs and doing a little bit of TikToks with yeah. that. Um, so a, a general question um, just about the creative space in Kenya, which has suffered because of COVID-19 like crazy. But before we were in this situation with the you know tough economic situation because of COVID-19, I wanted to know your perspective on whether the creative space in Kenya in general has been supportive, especially for dancers like you. I'm um, supportive in, in what I'm sense? talking about financially, ooh, ooh. Um, as well as just being able to get opportunities mm. to get jobs for your talent. It's, it's um, during this COVID time, it's been really, really hard getting, getting those jobs, getting, yeah. get guys, getting guys to approach because you. Because you also need to understand that these markets, these brands that want to work with you, they've also suffered because of this um, pandemic. Mm -hmm. So you just have to accept it as it is, mm -hmm. uh, but we are looking for better days ahead. Mm -hmm. We can't we can't Very uh, true, we, yeah. You take the lessons from the past and you move forward. That's amazing. Yeah. I feel like to won't get such serious talk right now. Manzi. Mako to like in the serious <laughs> mode. Uh, tell us, what does Nedi do on, on in his free time when he's not doing dance choreos, you know, when he's not working? What do you do during your free time? I'm going to pass him most of the time. I'm going to go to the house. I have, I, have, um, I have some kids, mm -hmm. I have some kids um, where I stay in that apartment complex. I was about to ask you, have some kids? Yeah, I have some kids. <laughs> <Not my nose. laughs> but yeah, I have some kids where I stay anytime I'm at home. So that's, yeah. they take up most of my free time. Anytime I'm at home, kwa mlango. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. dance and you never you can't oh, say no to that's kids so yeah nice. you can never say no to kids that's amazing never. that's such a, that's such an amazing you know thing to do mm. get that community involved as well well Nedi, um i love our conversations but me nataka kuona your dance moves that yeah. we're going to see mm -hmm. after this but before you do that just share your social media handles you know to our new viewers who are just getting to know you today and they want to see more of your work and maybe even connect with you so you can just look at that camera right there and you just let us know Okay, um, so um, I am at Nedi Parezo on each and every other platform, um, apart from Facebook, Atauko, I think Nelitoka, <laughs> but on Instagram, Nedi Parezo, on TikTok, Nedi Parezo, Twitter, Nedi Parezo, Tinder, Siko, Pio, Nelitoka. Uh, YouTube, I have, I have two YouTube channels. Mm -hmm. I have the first channel is called Anybody Can Dance Kenya. Go and subscribe, it's for my classes. And I have another one um, known as Unique Crew, U N I W K K. Mm -hmm. yes. Wonderful. I'm telling you, Nedia Kupata Wateju Kotinda. So I think I'm going to move on to other platforms to, <laughs> to find the one. But that's a conversation for another day. We had Nedi Perez right here with us. He's not gone yet. He's going to do a mini performance for us to get to see his dance moves. And maybe, maybe, after Mimi and Hashoyangu for the first time. But anyway, see you guys right after this.